Quinn, hurry it up already! Alright, good evening everyone, this is Stuck A for Zeus' Part 2, let's play Omega Quintet. Last time we left off, we just started this new let's play, and uh, we went through a, like a 5 minute cutscene, and uh, we just started this, uh, this uh, tutorial level. I forgot what it's called, but I could check it out. Hmm. But then again, in the last video, we, we did for a few battles, and in today's episode, we're gonna see what law what, what laws we need. So let's just trigger this event. Okay, now it's gonna teach us how it's gonna teach us about the uh, idle command. So let, let the face murder teaches us. All right, the attack the attack command shows up. The attack command allows allows use of recovery items. Items like skills have an effective ratio and weights. Oh my God, so tongue tied. I can't read for shit. <laughs> Unlike skills, they don't consume SP, but each time they're used, the number in possession decreases. Once that number reaches zero, I will disappear from the menu. Yeah. Self-explanatory. Alright, another battle. Alright. And I'm a slow nerd. I'm a, I'm a snow learner. Oh yeah, by the way, happy Mother's Day to you all. I mean, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Should be Pacific. But I hope you hope all the mothers had a good Mother's Day, even my mom. I'm pretty sure she had fun as well. Terrible. Can't wait to have kids so I can celebrate my own my own Father's Day. Kids give me uh, Father's Day stuff. That's the point though. Here I could take that. Yeah, I'm gonna speed this up. Alright. Let's just give them all you got. So how is everyone? Didn't really do much. What's slept. That's about it. And yeah, I know I'm a little I'm I'm a little slow re on recording. Mostly because I've been busy with the game industrials. And through the fact that my internet was acting like shit the other day. Alright, view the uh, special skill in Folders Gate tutorial. Alright. Oh, if you guys are watching uh, part one, I mean, hold on. The Folders Gate measures the first maze you need powers in using. Yeah, I don't really understand the, the Folders Gate that much. So, but by fulfilling particular conditions as the attack, mad, defeat mad, take damage, combo cut, count. And critical, the gate will fill up. Use special skills and consume one level of voltage gate. Keep in mind that if a battle member falls, the voltage gate will decrease. Okay. Once learned, will appear at the very bottom of mic skills. They can be consumed by SP and voltage points. They can deal intent and immense damage to mad, so try using them when the situation calls for it. Okay. And if you overkill. If you deal a lot of damage when defeating a mad, will occur. Uh, overkill will occur. To activate, deal damage equal to enemies gaining health or as maximum HP. It's easier to activate if you aim for a damage amount of over the limit of the enemy's HP. Upon activating overkill, the first man who calls it will get a bonus added to her action, action count, and Tox's action count will recover. Also, you can obtain many bonuses such as an added result bonus in addition to dropped items exclusive to overkill. Huh, I love my uncle's laughing outside. Anyway, you should make a full use of strong attacks like special skills and aim to overkill as possible. Alright. And as I was saying, if you guys are watching part one right now, you may notice my uh, commentary cut out doing a, doing a one scene where I was explaining how uh, you know, doing a cutscene, if you uh, accidentally skip a dialogue, you can hit triangle and, and replay their voice clips. For some reason, my commentary cut on that part, but then, but it eventually, it eventually came back on. Don't know what caused it, though. Alright. I don't think I showed this off. Oh, shoot. Didn't mean to skip it. Alright, I guess I showed off. Oh, never mind, I killed them. And cutscene. Revelation! Once again, the verse maiden's power has saved the town. Uh, 
Oh, what the hell is wrong with her? <laughs> oh, Miss Momoka, are you feeling all right? We're all. I don't think so. She's just bouncing up and down. Do your best, okay? Yeah. But yeah, as I, as I was saying, part one, if you um actually skip a dollar to hit triangle just to replay her voice. Oh. Yeah, like that. Momoka, are you feeling all right? If my commentary cut off again at this point, I'm terribly sorry about that. All right. That's moving on. <laughs> Everyone, I look forward to your continued <coughs> Yay! She won! Miss Momoka won! So, so therefore, on national television. <laughs> Enough with that already. Just like that, Whiteheart and Mr. Badfire on Neptunia Victory. really took that thing down! I know, I saw. It seemed like a pretty tough fight. Didn't seem that tough. She was overpowered. Level 100. So cute. But don't think the game's gonna be that freaking easy. If only I could be like that too. You wanna be like that? Exhausted and white as a sheet? That's fine too! Being a tiny girl, feeling the strain of battle, Pushing herself to the limit! Like, push it to the limit! You certainly got the tiny part down. I guess now you just need to work on your wheezing. Come on, that's not what I meant. I don't mean I literally want to turn into Miss Momoka. I, uh... You want to be a verse maiden who protects everyone through song and dance, right? Huh? Yeah, that's right. How could I forget? I haven't been able to hear anything but that for ages. What? Have I really said it that many times? Uh, have I? Hey, it's over now, so let's go. Uh, wait! The broadcast is still... What? You're really leaving? Hey! I said wait up! Okay. Well then. Miss Momoka, are you tired? Shall we call it a day? I... I'm fine. Just let me catch my breath. It's like she got an asthma attack or something. <laughs> well then, that's all for today. Be sure to tune in for our next broadcast. Are you going to tell me who your name is? And that's a wrap. Nice work. <laughs> what a pain. Jeez, every freaking time. Quit it with the sudden pop-up appearances, I said. God damn. It seems to be unavoidable lately. Today was an especially close call. We were on the verge of an incident. Oh yeah, some, something, I feel, something I failed to mention on part one. Yes, I'm aware this game has uh, two endings. The normal ending and the true ending. And, and um, I did some research and um, how to lock the true ending and... I kind of understand it, how many? <laughs> but I, I kind of want to explain that later on in this Let's Play, how to unlock the true ending. Because I need, I need to make sure I'm right on this. Indeed, how many years has it been? And to unlock the normal ending, just breeze through the game, most likely, without getting a certain requirement to unlock the true ending. back. In that case, I'll let you take care of the cleanup. There are still I still love how the cutscene's just like zooming on her face. Yeah, it's gonna do that a lot in this one. I know that. Jeez, pain in my yeah, it never did that in the Neptunia yeah. series. Just it kind of did that in favor of her F, but it, let's just say, no. it's, it's kind of hard to explain how that cutscene worked in favor of her F. The way how Fang zooms on the camera. Well, he does it by transparent. What's it look like? I can't really say until the report goes up, though I think it wasn't much. Oh, in other words, it wasn't. And speaking of my commentary cutout, I did have the settings set on the uh, commentary export. It'll save my commentary, and I find the lost commentary. Higher already, and make way for the younger generation. Nah, it's all right. It doesn't actually bother me. Besides, there aren't any youngsters I can hand this off to. Surely there are. You're already pushing it physically. If you keep it up at your age... I am NOT pushing it! Hanging up now! Jeez... She just has 
best to comment on everything. Huh? Oh, when I shout, I get dizzy. Ah, sheesh. Just gonna get this over with so I can go back. Okay, back in the dungeon. Put some spirit into it. <laughs> I love how she insults the players. <laughs> yeah, like I mentioned in part one, if you try to look on her dress. Hey, get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> yeah, she she will insult the player if you try to look on her dress by covering her dress and calling you a pervert like she, like she did just now. This is funny and hilarious. Yeah, there's another event over there. Alright, when I get in bed, I'll probably show off that, that skill that I accidentally skipped. <sighs> I'll never be done. I'll never get this over with. That's it. I can't do this anymore. Even this simple job is starting to hurt my waist. Gary Pick? Come on! Oh, hello, you! I know who you are, Kana. I can't even pronounce her full name. Uh, uh, Kana, you're too fast. Yep, Kana. Even if we hurry, I'm sure it's already over. But she has a full name. Kana's her nickname. Hmm? Those voices. All right, we're at hmm, the bouncy. Now. Yeah, expect a lot of bounciness when it's like in the Neptunia series. And favorite for F. Harley. What are you doing here? How many times do I have to tell you to keep out of Ground Zero? Ground Zero? When you say Ground Zero, when you say Ground Zero, it, can, it, can, it makes me think of Metal Gear Solid Five Ground Zero. And speaking of that, Final Pain comes out on September 1st of this year. I need to go pre-order that soon. Did you take down all of them? That's that's my early birthday present. Now the last game that came on my birthday was Hyrule Warriors. Don't call me teeny. I see your attitude towards your seniors is as lousy as always. Uh, that's true. Miss Momoka is way older than we are, so. What do you mean by way? <laughs> I just love how she balls up her fist. Yeah, she do remind me of Blanc of Neptunia. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I won't, I won't be surprised if uh, Momoko goes in her goes in her Terminator form like what Blanc does. You know when her eye turns red. You'll never get a turn for the rest of your life. I'm more than enough all by myself. Hmm, no fear. I want to be a first maiden too. Oh my God! For, for some reason, it sounded like she said, "I want, I want to breastfeed too." Oh my fucking God! Really? If you guys showed up when it was here, you would have just slowed me down. But she said first, maiden. But you always seem like you're just about to lose. Wait, well, yeah, those girls are pretty hot. Momoka, Kana, and Nani. What? When did I ever seem like I was just about to lose? When? Well, last time, and the time before that, and the time before that, and last month was especially awful. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't beat, I haven't beat this game yet, though. Right. So. If we hadn't helped you out. You would have been scored. Once again, I'll, I'll reread what I had to do to unlock the true ending. I said not to call me Teeny. That was. That was. Staged. It was staged. I was totally planning to pull an instant comeback from the brink of defeat. But you guys ruined it. Aw, sucks to be you. Keep saying that, and we're not gonna help you anymore, okay? And I keep telling you I don't need your freaking help. Miss Momoka, I know you hate us, but really, you shouldn't push yourself. I'm not pushing myself. You two are just so stubborn. But, but you're not really the age to be a verse maiden anymore. I'm pretty sure this year you're third. Uh oh. What the hell? What did you try to say? What did you? <laughs> <laughs> She, she trying to call her old. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. 
those eyes. Hey! Stop bullying Nene! You're too old to be acting so immature! I am not too old! I am absolutely not too old! Yeah, 30 is not old. Oh, I'm almost 30, I'm 28 years old. Alright, cutscene over. Well, oh, never mind. There's more. That's right. Put me wrong. Okay, so they're not talking. That's all right, though. And yeah, don't ask me to read the read the entire dialogue. And no, I'm not. I'm not gonna do the female voice. No. <laughs> Oh yeah, for some reason I was thinking about getting the uh, Harvey Harvey Neptunia Victory 2, the uh, Asian import, but one part of me says go get it, another part of me says don't get it. So if I do get it, we'll see what happens. But I'm pretty damn sure I'm getting the uh, the USA version when it comes out. They haven't uh, announced the release date for it yet, but when they do, I'm gonna I'm gonna pre-order it and let's play it, of course. Part of the day after it comes out, of course, like I did with Fairy Friends or Elf. I kind of did the same thing with Victory, but uh, I had ordered my new laptop at that time. But this game is pretty interesting. I'm still trying to get a hang of this game on my uh, on my uh, my practice file. That also is pretty interesting, and yeah, and speaking of Neptunia 32, they are doing playthroughs of the Asian import, but I'm not watching them. And they even have their soundtracks up on YouTube, and I'm not, I'm not going to listen to any soundtracks until I play the game myself. I had to tell Rise of, I had to tell of Rise of 51 that. So that's why I mentioned my Sky status that, uh, that please don't, please don't send me any soundtracks from Victory 2 until I play the game for myself. Because if I listen to it right now, I want to get even more hyper than I am right now, and to be honest with you, I don't want to do that. I mean, I'm not, I ain't saying that being hyper is wrong. It's just that the, the more hype you get, the longer it's going to take to come out, the longer you have to wait for it to come out, you know what I mean? I learned that, I learned, I learned that, I learned that, I've learned that lesson since I was a little kid, so. Good grief. That was a little long behind cutscene, but I don't mind. But yeah, if, I, if I'm going too fast, you, you can just pause the video and just read the dialogue. In case someone complains about it. But yeah, but it'll be, it'll be better if they, if they start talking every dialogue. But, if, but I believe that if, if I put this game in, um, if I put this game in Japanese, then they'll have a lot of voiceovers compared to the USA ones. What the hell is that? Huh, <laughs> that's that close up.
So many ellipses. Holy crap, another cutscene. Holy shit. Okay. Phew, I'm done. I didn't miss any, did I? Ow, 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 ouch. Oh, my waist is stiff. I didn't think something. Maybe she needs to retire. So hard. Ah, uh, I've just been piling on the stress lately. I'm not anywhere near my limit. Got to keep going. Even though I have lost most of my verse maiden powers. Still, I gotta... Momoka, it's an emergency. Ah! D -d Don't just suddenly shout at me like that! <laughs> <laughs> the Blair have appeared at another location. Head there as fast as you can. You're always, always! Huh? What was that? I said the Blair have appeared. Hurry! Didn't I just clear them all out? Never just continuously shown up before. Well, they came back. Nothing you can do about that now. No time to talk. Hurry. Uh, but I've got a little thing called my condition over here. Too much for you? I have this cutscene is over. We're going to end the episode. But... Are those two still nearby? You finally decided to leave it to them? Oh, that's not it at all. J just answer the question. As a matter of fact, I was preparing to get in touch with them, in case you decided to pass on this one. You don't have to get in touch with them. I'll take care of it in a snap. Good grief. <laughs> Perhaps we should skip the broadcast this time around. Alright, so it's a cutscene over. Alright, good. Alright, so yeah, that was an interesting cutscene. <laughs> Lots of funny moments though. But this is where part two is gonna end. So next time let's play uh, uh Omega Quintet. We're actually gonna leave the dungeon, right? Let me let me pause the game. No, we may do we may do more a little more exploring and see what's in store for us and then again, we're gonna see what's in store for us. So until next time, Celtics A42 out. <laughs>